Leopards, and it's by Mohammed El Kaliobi. Brings database style querying to dictionaries and objects. So it's kind of like the methods provided by an ORM, but without the database backend. The example in the project readme shows three dictionaries, each with a name and age. You then import the Q class from a Leopard's library, passing in a list of those dictionaries and then a dictionary of constraints for your query. If your constraints were name contains K and age is less than 21, what you'd get back is the dictionary or objects that met those constraints. The constraints are structured very much like their Django ORM equivalents. You name a constraint using the name of the key in the dictionary that you're querying upon, rather than the title of the column, and then append an underscore and the actual constraint operator. The supported operators are comparisons like equal and greater than, contains, start with and end with, all of those supporting case insensitive versions, as well as in and is null. The example I gave earlier of name contains would actually be name underscore contains. And then if the attribute of a dictionary called name had that letter inside of it, then you'd get a match. The library also supports combining different queries together using and, or, and not, as well as data aggregation methods, including count, min, max, sum, and average. If all that isn't cool enough, the name Leopards is well-deserved. This is a speedy little beast, often operating an order of magnitude faster than equivalent pandas code. It also works with dictreader as an iterable, meaning unlike pandas, you don't have to pull the entire CSV file into memory to perform the operations. It's by no means a replacement for pandas. It's much smaller and lighter weight. But if the kinds of queries you're doing are covered by what I've just described and leopards can do it, well, you're going to get a lot more speed for it. So it might be worth a look.